The Pan-African Heritage World Museum is a museum dedicated to the sharing of the true story of Africa and its people. It is the brainchild of Honorable Kojo Yanka, founder of the African University College of Communications in Ghana. March 2021 marked another milestone in the museum project with a 1.5 km tree planting exercise that drew a significant number of people from all walks of life to the project site. Among those who helped plant trees on the site were Sir Sam Jonah, chairman of Jonah Capital. <laughs> I mean, this is clearly the work of a visionary. Uh, Kujo has been a visionary throughout his life. I've had the pleasure and privilege to be associated with him when I went for, to secondary school in the first year, 1962. And Kujo was uh, four years ahead of me. He's oh. <laughs> 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 it's, it's always been a visionary, as I said. But this is an initiative whose time has come. Uh, this is provided us a fantastic opportunity to tell our own story, tell the world the contribution that we've made to civilization, which has been immense, but of course, your history is told by others, so it is conveniently forgotten. This is a fantastic idea, and I think that deserves the support of all of us, uh, people of uh, the black race. So it's been a real pleasure and a delight to be here today and see the beginning of something truly wonderful. Nana Kwame Bediako, a.k.a. Shedda, CEO of Wonder World and Petronia. And I, I dig more? No, it's okay. You just straighten it. So, this plant would be called the freedom plant. <laughs> as long as this plant stays here, it will neutralize this land. There will be freedom within our nation. There will be development within our nation. And there will be seed of wisdom within our nation. I wish you a great success in all this development, our country, our nation, our people. This museum, would be a museum for the continent that everybody would come to learn about the history of our ancestors and our culture and our tradition. Kwame, the rap doctor. So let me say a very big thank you um, to Sir for this opportunity to be a part of this vision. An African adage that I love so much says that we do not inherit this earth from our ancestors. We rent it from our unborn children. So an opportunity to contribute to knowledge, an opportunity to contribute to growth, to contribute to vegetation, it's a rare opportunity for all of us. I would like to encourage all young people watching me today. Let us get involved with telling the African story. Because if we do not tell our story, others who tell it for us will twist it for us. And we always feel insecure. So I'm happy to be a part of this project. And I'd like to urge all young people especially to pay attention to what is happening here. Africa will rise. Thank you. Representatives of the Association of African Universities, representatives of the African University College of Communications, PAHW Academic Council members, Professor Abna P. Buzia and Professor Amina Mama, as well as Ghana's ambassador to Germany, Mrs. Gina Blay, among others. The museum's mission is to provide an atmosphere where people of African descent and others can learn about and witness the true history of the now valid origins of humanity, culture development, and great civilizations which shape the past, inform the present, and will shape the future, serving as an example for future generations. The museum's building is scheduled to be finished in December 2022 with a commissioning in July 2023, according to the project chairman by Honorable Kojo Yanka. The Pan African Heritage. World Museum 
is going to be built up on the hill and what we have done today is to now provide the path to the site. This is the access road, 1.2 kilometers that we have created to go up to the hilltop. So we are planting the trees to decorate the avenue that drives you all the way to the top. Now, up there, we are going to create the Pan-African Heritage City. Now, in the city, we're going to have the African University College of Communications, AUCC. And then, more important for this particular purpose, we are going to also host the Pan-African Heritage Museum. It's the biggest, probably the most ambitious heritage museum project on the continent of Africa. This is the museum that is going to house the history, the culture, the arts, the sciences, the civilization of Africa from the time that Africa was created. In other words, from the time that the human being was created because humans were created from Africa till today. So we will curate all that in the sixth story museum that we are going to put up there. Now, we are not going to just have a museum where you just get in, look around and then just go back. There are some other features that are going to attract a lot of people from throughout the world. One will be a 500-seater film theater that will show all the films on Africans and their achievements 24-7 uh, up there. It will also be a place for conferencing and for all kinds of meetings. But outside the main structure, you will have a pack of African heroes. We are going to have a garden in which we are going to sculpture about 200 heroes and heroines of Africa and African descent who have achieved and who qualify to be role models of the youth for the future so that the youth can go and read about them and know about them and get inspired by them. We have another unit that is a palace of African kingdoms. We are going to curate all the major kingdoms that have sprung up on the continent of Africa from ancient days till now so that people can go and learn about these kingdoms, learn about the differences, the diversities, and more important, learn something from all those kingdoms. That area is going to give the opportunity for visitors to have access to all the cuisines on the continent of Africa. So you can have your breakfast from Ghana, you can go to South Africa for your lunch, go and have an Ethiopian dinner, whatever. Um, that is the Palace of African Kingdoms. Then there's the unit about the African herbal plant village. We have over 30,000 species of herbal plants on the continent. There's no reason why Africa should be looking for medicine elsewhere. We want to plant them here, not just for a show, but also to use them for education. We will even extend it to research so that we can research into them here on the site. That's why we've created chalets. We're going to build a number of chalets within the African herbal plant village so that people can stay there and do research, learn and understand themselves. Our last unit is kind of the festival park. We're going to have a, a huge one acre space for concerts, for festivals, for games, for all kinds of entertainments that will bring the youth together to learn about themselves. 
by doing that, we have a wing that is going to be a hub for innovation and creativity. So the youth who have discovered or invented or have initiated some projects will also have a place to share experiences. It is important that we share these experiences together because we are Africans or we are people of African descent. So this is a huge uh, project that is going to cost 30 million US dollars and we have already started fundraising. We are looking at May the 5th for the sword cutting ceremony uh, by the President of the Republic of Ghana. We will invite other leaders from across the Pan-African world. We will invite Corporate Africa to be all part of this so that we take off and start construction before the end of the year. You know that um, a nation that forgets to honor its heritage and its forebearers no, grows nowhere. You know, so an opportunity for, for us to have a museum like this, telling the African story, will tell the, the stories of the, of the empires, the stories of the individuals that actually built, fought for our freedom, protected and contributed to Mali. Other is in the area of science, arts and culture, music, everything is going to be here. So it is going to give us, the young people, it's going to tell us that if we do well, we will not be forgotten. And this will impact not just the showbiz and the arts and culture industry, it will impact the whole of Africa and the world. Because something like this is going to bring attention. To, for example, everything that we are doing as artists, we are also contributing to knowledge from our small corners. So if we realize that people that also contributed to knowledge are acknowledged and they have their statues and they have stories written about them and people can actually come and see it and live it, it will encourage us to also do more. And then the fact that it's not just a generic you know, museum, but it's an African heritage museum will tell us that we need to tell, keep telling the African story in our music videos, in our music, in our writings, in our interactions with people in the clothes we wear, everything is going to change, especially when we realize that our work will not just go haywire. When you're called to play a role that uh, supports the restoration and celebration of Africa's, much of our huge, vast heritage is lost. So I was very happy to be a part of this project. And this is my first visit to the site. And I'm especially happy that we get to plant trees. Do you know the name of the tree you planted? Yes, it's a royal palm. Royal palm. Yes. Would you be coming here often to check on your tree? You bet, and to check on the museum. And I think my concerns will be to make sure that this museum is, it celebrates past heritage, but it is also very much a living museum. And that young people come people from all over the world, but I would be very interested to make sure that local people share the pride that all these dignitaries are feeling um, and that it's accessible to ordinary Ghanaians, ordinary Africans, because uh, most of us have access to books if we want to, we can read, we can find history, but I feel that the ordinary people do not get so much exposure. So I would like this museum to be available to ordinary Ghanaians and to welcome them as much as any ambassador or professor. We will excite people around the continent and the Pan-African world to give us their, the things that represent them, either real or virtually. We now live in a virtual world, so if you can't bring the sculpture, give us a 3D picture of the sculpture and talk about it. So the curation is very, very important. So I hope that we get a real diversity of things that represent our history. Not just material objects, but the intangible. Um, you know, in Ghana, you cannot tell the history of who we are as Ghanaians without dance, without jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> so we want all of that so that anybody walking in will get a sense of the length and breadth and depth. It'll only be the tip of the iceberg, but we hope it to be a place. We can't all travel all over the world, 
but we can leave a place for our children to get a sense of what the rest of the world is like and maybe inspire them to go to maybe one or two places. Planting trees is giving life to trees and I think you know one thing that we have really underestimated in Africa is the value of life. There's life in trees, there's life in humans, there's life in animals, there's life in everything that God created on this earth and I think it's given us Africa is a great planet and we have to keep adding value to our land, our soil and make sure it germinates the true good seed. And I'm happy to have been here and have been privileged to plant a, tr a tree. So tomorrow I will look back and posterity will also look back and say I was there because I am part and parcel of the idea of having this kind of institution, a memorial to all our people for all that they have done.